Well, hello everyone, I'm back. The new proud American conservative. Yes, I got more important info. Not too many of you can stomach. So while so many Americans are fleeing big cities, they wanna go off the grid. You got food shortages, yes, food shortages. Today here in Florida, really nice area, right by the beach. I could not get orange juice in Florida. Whole chicken, not available, out of stock. I did not go to different stores, but nonetheless, could not get orange juice in Florida. That's the bottom line. So while all this is going on, and we all know what else is happening, the, the, the madness that's taking place, you got these elites flying over in private jets, enjoying their lavish lifestyles, the champagne taste, and basically are laughing. A lot of them, vast majority of Hollywood stars, bureaucrats in high places, bureaucrats, high up bureaucrats, banksters, they're just, this is exactly what they wanted. They wanted us divided while they're just gonna meet up on whatever in one of their private islands they're gonna enjoy uh, utopia they created for themselves and that's about it right so I wanted to read this verse I read today in the Bible it's 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 a quick one here so just stay with me for 20 seconds and why is it all connected when it comes living off the grid that I've been talking about? Uh, this is an eye opener. If a lot of you did not hear this one before, don't give in to worry or anger. It only leads to trouble. Those who trust Lord will possess land, but the wicked will be driven out. The Lord takes care of those who obey him and the land will be theirs forever. They will not suffer when times are bad, they will have enough in the time of famine. They will not suffer when times are bad. They will have enough in time of famine. So there is that, right? In the Bible, talking about it, I suggest if any of you have a chance to unload your fancy condo, let's say in New York, get top dollar for it and get the hell out of there, it would be a good time to do so right now. I'm not telling you what to do, I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm not in the big city, but I am in a very congested area here close to St. Pete, a very beautiful beaches. Just too many people, I believe it's um, too dangerous and I will be making my videos from a huge, huge ranch property and I will I hope I'm gonna love it. And the reason I say I hope is because I'm getting out of my comfort zone. So I gotta learn a lot of stuff. I have to learn how to be self-sufficient. I'm not a handyman, I gotta learn how to do that. I'm not a gardener, I'm going to learn how to do that. So self-sufficiency, information, obviously good information are top two assets. And when it comes to basic preps, this is just common sense, okay? stored canned foods all of that a lot of you know this already uh, i believe everybody's already done that if you didn't i really don't know what you're waiting on uh, i always talk about gold silver platinum lots of ammo you got to have those hard tangible assets in your possession uh, make sure you have it on the go it's not in bank of america in in a safe box because it is not say it is not safe there trust me Private bank, smaller private bank uh, that you trust, you've done business with for decades, that's a good option too. Your Uncle Bob in Idaho, maybe that's a good option too. I never keep everything in one place. That's just uh, a must, especially in times like this. I believe gold and silver have a long way to go. The uh, COMEX, they basically own these paper contracts where you have all this uh, physical ETFs, right? So here's how it works real quick for everybody to understand why this is about to turn into something very special here. The big money, right? The banksters, this is how they do it. Let's say 
regular folk like me and you start buying silver. So the price goes from $14 to $30 an ounce, which happened. They say, okay, we're gonna sell paper digital silver. Even though COMEX says this is actual bullion that you are selling, ETFs. So they short it. They come in with major money and suppress the price, right? All of a sudden it goes from 30 back to 22 bucks, let's say, right? Which is what's been going on. But now the buyers, regular folk like me and you, now they are coming in by the millions and the banks are now losing money when they short these, when, when they use the derivatives, when they use the scam that COMEX has. So right now, if this thing blows up, meaning when they start just longing this market because they are actually losing money by shorting it, there are no sellers. By the way, nothing goes up in the straight line, nothing goes down in the straight line. Okay, so you're gonna see corrections that are very healthy here and there, but these 20, 30, 40% corrections, when you see in the cryptos as well, this is where these whales come in, these banksters, and they do it in order to transfer wealth from the middle class to the ultra rich. So I believe right now, based on a lot of research, I post all these um, details or all, all, all the charts, um, when it comes to, for instance, um, interviews with someone like Eric Sprott that uh, understands this business uh, better than anyone in the world, I don't just, like I said, pull stuff out of the hat. I actually do a lot of research. So you don't have to listen to me. Obviously, I could be wrong. I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm continuing to acquire physical. That is the core position. You gotta have physical in your possession. Silver is still the most undervalued asset in the world. I believe platinum is gonna follow uh, from 1,000 an ounce at least to 2,500 an ounce because last time in the Great Recession, platinum went up to 2,200, now it's only 1,000. Platinum is not looked at um, as money in a way. It's, it's a typical precious metal like rhodium Okay, so you look at that a little bit, like platinum is not like money, silver and gold is always gonna be looked at as money, as especially gold store of value. So those two are obviously top. You make sure you get your gold and silver. But speculative, rhodium, platinum, I think it would be really good to have, especially when it comes down to um, African countries. You have a lot of issues right now, and I believe this is where most platinum is mined. They're gonna shut it down and these prices could skyrocket. But if you don't have it in your possession, if you don't hold it, you don't own it. So I own some mining stocks. I go over that in my chat box down below. I'll write all the indexes, the ones I'm holding. And when it comes to um, different sectors, I entered today NOG which is Northern Oil and Gas. I bought at 68 cents. If it drops more, I will cost average and um, sell probably around 85 cents, which I hope within the next week or so it will get there. So it's a 20 cent uh, perfect sweet spot. I believe this could work out. If not, it is what it is. We just move on to a different sector, different area. So NOG, Northern, Oil and gas got in at 68 cents, looking to sell around 88 cents. Got a big position in it, so this could be a pretty, pretty nice um, profit that can happen possibly by tomorrow. I will be out. <laughs> Take care. God bless you all, and uh, we will talk tomorrow.